Can a beginner golfer hit blades? Let's find out. Let's do it now. <laughs> doesn't look a bit thin, doesn't it? Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you hit that subscribe button below. On this channel, I bring you guys golf-related content every single day, hopefully to help you raise your game, generally to help you lower that handicap, but mainly to get you enjoying golf more than ever before. In today's video, we have Mr. Beginner Golfer, aka Mr. Fox. So guys, if you've not seen, we have been out at Aphrodite Hills with Golf Mates Travel, making some beginner golf content. And this is a bit of a, a teaser for you. So we're gonna see, you've just had your first ever golf lesson on camera, so that content's coming. How do you feel like it went? All right, not bad actually. Not bad. I think you've been modest, I think it went really well. Yeah, and we used, so I brought a selection of different clubs out, so we didn't hit the four iron, but, we used these ones, which are the Mizuno MP20 HMB, so kind of hot metal blade. And if we look at that compared to the club I've just given you, what do you think? So two four irons. Oh. So you're not from a golfing background, so I just want to know your, in your terminology, which is non-golfing, what would you say? Uh, this one's a, a hell of a lot thinner and it looks like a, a smaller head to me as well. Smaller actually. head, butter yeah. knife, some would say. So guys, the point of this video is mainly just have a bit of a laugh and have some fun and see if a beginner golfer can play with bladed Mizuno MP20 MB irons. Because it's got to be said, they may look skinny, but they are the most sexy irons known to man. You've got to say they look good. Oh, wow. Can you, so from a, again, a non-golfing background beginner, I mean, we're gonna say you have got a golfing background now actually, but can you tell a difference looking at those two clubs? Because they do look quite similar, don't they? They said the, the blade is obviously a hell of a lot thinner. What about, you know, if you just held them visually to look at the back of them, so if you looked at maybe the aesthetics of them. I'm gonna go one shiny, one's not. Yeah, That's... splitting hairs a little bit just yeah. with the finish. Mm. Okay, so what we'll do, we're not gonna start with the four iron because that would be a bit evil to be fair. Let's start with the, you've, you've had a lesson with the eight iron there. Yep. So let's go eight iron MP20 MB. And let's see if you see a difference to that initially. Before we get started, I want you to hit those comments below. What level do you think you need to be to play with blades? Should a beginner learn to play with blades? rather than a game improvement iron, and then just pick up the skill set that way. I know a lot of people do think, obviously start with the harder to use equipment, and from there, obviously you, you maybe become a better player. How do you feel looking down at that? It almost feels a light to man. Yeah? Sure. I can't make any well, excuses. Looks like there's very uh, little margin for error. There is not a lot, to be fair. It's a good effort. And you see, this is interesting, and this is what I was expecting. So in the lesson, I mean, we'll be the first to admit when it was bad, it, it, was, it, 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 was bad. it was bad. But you know when it was good? When it was good, you had no problem hitting the middle of that. No. So that's sort of, well, the game improvement iron isn't going to help you if you miss it, is it? No. We'll just put a little montage of some of the, the fun ones for you there. No, we won't. We won't. You see there, so a game improvement iron isn't going to help that, is it? Do you feel less confident, say if we go, so we'll go again, HMB there. If you look down at that now, and I take that back for a second. So try and hit me one with that. Does it give you more confidence? Because it's interesting, it's a long time since I was a beginner, so I can't really remember. Yeah, it's up. It's hard to say. Do you feel different or no? If, you, if, if no, then just say no. Yeah, no, I, I do feel slightly different, a little bit more confident with this in my hand. Good effort. It, there's still a lot more forgiving. I, I, obviously, it, it wasn't still a great shot, but I still got it moving. Yeah, it's still gone kind of 80 yards, hasn't it? Great shot. Love it. Love it. So you see that shot there? Absolutely ripped it. Nice bit of mat interaction after the shot. So you've took a bit of a divot out of the mat. Do that with a blade, and potentially there's not going to be a lot of difference, is there? Hello. 
just some interesting kind of markings on there which the guys can the guys can make out. Oh he's ripped it. And that's interesting. So there we didn't see any shots like that in the lesson, did we? Ripped it. How did the strike feel? It felt nice. The strike sounded pretty amazing. Yeah. But because there's not a lot of weight behind that head, you caught it a little bit toey. Felt good, sounded good, sounded as good as any, any golf strike you're going to hear really. But it was a bit out of the toe. So as you can see here, we've got a mark on the toe of the club. That's where with the HMB as opposed to the MB, it's still going to go left because the face is still going to, going to move a little bit. But apart from that, it's not going to be as far left. So you're going to get a little bit more forgiveness with this as opposed to the blade. I think we go a bit, I think, I, this could get a bit naughty this I think we go oh, so that's a four iron so again complete beginner a four iron is a longer shaft so a longer lever this so a longer lever designed to create more ball speed which is obviously designed to create more distance mm -hmm. and obviously if you look down at them what can you see is the primary difference with the club head uh, there's think of that word yeah, again there's, there's, le there's less loft there's less loft not the attic the loft yes because we're not in America no. so now we're gonna hit we're going to hit HMB 4 iron and this is interesting because it's the first time you've ever hit a 4 iron is it? I take it? Yep. So you're going to obviously stand a bit further away, this is where the beginner lesson comes back into it as well. Give yourself a bit more room. Good effort. God, have you said how good do these things look as well? Oh, look at that. I'm not talking about you. So we're going to launch it let's go because interestingly this four iron the mb has more loft on it yeah so it's less forgiving but it's more traditionally lofted so let's see if we can actually launch the bladed four iron as opposed to the more forgiving hmb which i actually use i use this hmb because i'm not good enough to use the uh, the blade but you're using the blade so that means you're better than me obviously yeah i mean you're not you're not hit it yet but see what i mean airborne great shot gone right but that doesn't matter how are your hands after that <laughs> a bit tingly little, little tingly in his hand here <laughs> how do you know because it sounded a bit thin so when it sounds thin it means you've hit the ball kind of low on the face more towards the equator of the ball and you get a bit of a vibration up the shaft whereas whereas that one would kind of dampen that a little bit right. so imagine that imagine hitting that playing in a December morning, Saturday morning at 7am when it's just turning light, freezing. Ah, oh. oh. that'd be for six, wouldn't it? Definitely. Definitely. You know what difference were there? What? Pulled away, but then I went more forward into my shot as opposed to leaning back and... Yeah. But that, and that's nothing to do with the club, is it? That's just you as a golfer yeah. learning from your own mistakes. So if we go, let's finish on one with that. Because the, the question of this video is, can a beginner golfer use blades? And I think we know there the answer is obviously, well, yeah, but it should be. Well, what would your answer to that be? The, the video is about you, so. If you can hit them, why shouldn't you use them? I don't, I don't think you've lost anything with them apart from maybe confidence because you, you've got the four iron off the ground whereas with this HMB four iron which is more, more forgiving you've, you've not got it off the ground really have you? No. I'll get there. <laughs> Tough with the four iron mate though isn't it to be fair. So can a beginner golfer use blades? Yes. Yeah? Should they? Why not? Why not? Why not? I suppose, and it's a bit of a kind of open-ended video this, because I want you guys to hit those comments below and let me know. What do you think? It launched the 4-iron in the MB pretty well. You got one out there at 160 yards, which again, beginner golfer, first day golfing. Whereas with the HMB 4-iron, the more forgiving club, didn't get launched, probably less loft on there. Again, it's going to come down to how you how you hit that ball at that time, isn't it? But guys, thank you so much for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed the kind of beginner look into things, make sure you check out the beginner series that we've got running because it's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, yes. We've, we've filmed three or four videos today. It's been so much fun. Even if you're not a beginner, make sure you go tune in because we're here at Aphrodite Hills. It's a beautiful place. Thanks to Golf Mates Travel for getting us out here. And hopefully you'll pick some tips up along the way, even if you are not a beginner. And also stay with us because we might be off to Dubai. The beginners race to Dubai.
as always guys make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already leave us a like if you enjoyed that content comment below should a beginner use blades we we don't really know do we we've just we've, we've, we've tested it for you should we do this on the golf course as well because that'd be really interesting and apart from that i'm going to stop talking because it's red hot and we're going to go to the bar so as always see you tomorrow